The following problem is a compound inequality. Uh, in a, this particular compound inequality, there are two inequalities put to, together into one inequality that we call an and inequality. To do this, we actually break it into three sides, which you can see by the dotted lines. And whatever we do to the middle, which is where we solve, we have to do it not just to the left side, or not just to the right, but to both. So we've added negative three to all three sides of the inequality signs. Uh, but we added negative three because three plus negative three is zero. That's that leaves us with just two x in the middle. And then we're going to divide by two because we always want to solve just for x. So we have to get x by itself, but we do, again divide all three things by two. Um, now uh, we go through and simplify. Negative seven divided by two is 3.5, so negative 3.5. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so it's x, and then 4 divided by 2 is 2. Again, this is an and inequality, so we plot both cutoff points. We're going to plot negative 3.5. We're going to make it a closed circle, so right there between negative 3 and negative 4. And then we're going to plot 2, and it's going to be an open circle. Again, this reads x has to be greater than negative 3.5, so to the right of negative 3.5, but less than 2, so to the left of 2. And that has to be both because it's an and equation inequality, thus we shade in between the two cutoff points.